Hey, it's Brandon Styles. I am back, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly, like in 30 seconds, set up a locally hosted WordPress site using Local by Flywheel. So like always, first I'm gonna show you how to do it, and then at the end of the video, if you care, I'm going to explain why this is cool to do. So before we get into all that, let's dive in and actually set up a website. Also, if you wanna learn any more about Flywheel, there is a link in the description below. Check it out. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and set up and get running our local WordPress site. Now before we download Local by Flywheel, I have opened up a kind of playground test website on a live server. So this is my live website that is using uh, Cloudways to operate. So now let's go ahead and download Local by Flywheel. I'm gonna go to Google, type Local by Flywheel. It's this first one right here. You can get the pro version, I think it's new, they kind of just came out with it, but all we need today is this free download. So you need to choose your platform, I'm on a Mac, enter in your information right here, and just click get it now. It's going to download, just takes a second, and when it does, we're gonna open it up. All right, there we go. Drag it over to your applications folder. We're gonna close that, and then we are going to open it up. There it is, local. I was amazed with how minimal but effective this program was. Turn on error reporting. Here's a little intro screen, but click out of that. And this is it. This is all there is to Flywheel's local app. So there's kind of your system preferences in a way, like you've got a, how you can upgrade to Pro if you want to upload to Flywheel after you create a local WordPress site here, you can. I'm not going to do that today because I'm not using Flywheel's actual service. And then here are all the sites that you're going to have. So a few things I wanna do before I get started, let's go up to preferences. I use the auto theme here, but here's where you can change it. They've got like a dark theme and stuff like that. But what I wanna do here is check out the new site defaults. So the sites path, this is where your WordPress sites that you create using local are gonna be stored. So that's in your home folder and in a folder called local sites. So if you wanna see what that looks like, click browse. And here we are in the home folder, right? Under users, there's my name, and then it's going to create a folder right here called local folder. So you can keep that, you can change it to whatever you want. Here's your admin email for if you get locked out of your local WordPress install, you'll have that right there. I'm just going to click apply. Now, if you do any exporting, here's where you can pick out some of this stuff, the developer menu, blueprints, if you have any. Flywheel has like WordPress blueprints where you can kind of start your site a little bit more quickly, but we're not gonna do that today. Let's create our WordPress local site. Create a new site, call it anything you want. I'm gonna call it Brandon's local site. Choose from the advanced options here. You can change the name if you want. I'm gonna keep it at Brandon's local site dot local but you can change it to whatever you want maybe put little hyphens in there here's where you can change the local site path if you wanted to this one's going to go under the local sites folder and it's going to be called brandon's local site and here's where you can pick a blueprint if you have one we're going to continue choose your wordpress admin username and password i'm just going to do root and i'm going to do root and then there's the wordpress email that it's going to go to and if you have a multi-site you can do that i don't add site and that's it. That is how you create a local WordPress site. Now I'm gonna show you some cool things that you can do with this too. It's gonna to ask you for your username and password just to give it permission, cool. But this is doing everything. It's setting up your database, it's setting up your WordPress site, and you'll be ready to go. And I'm even talking over this. Like it takes 10, 15 seconds, something like that. Very fast. There we go, all right. So here is our site, we can see it over here, our database, we're running PHP 7.32, blah, blah, blah. It has already started, if you wanted to stop the site, you can click that, and there it's not running anymore, but let's start it up again, and it is running, so how do you get to it? Well, all you have to do is click view site. Click view site, it's gonna open up Brandon's local site.local, and there is a WordPress install. Now, how do you sign into it and start editing? Well, just come up to here, Click admin, sign in using the username and password we just made up. Remember it was root and root, login. And just like that, we have our WordPress website up and ready to go with custom pages. And it's very fast. See how quickly this loads? A lot of my WordPress dev time is spent in this back end, just like waiting for stuff to load or save or download. And this just speeds it up a lot. Now, 
Let's say I wanted to copy a site over here. So let's go to that live site that we looked at at the beginning of this video. It's right here. What I'm going to do is migrate this full hosted website. So I downloaded a plugin called All-in-One WP Migration. It's right there. And I'm just going to click export. This is very, very simple. I'm going to export it to a file. And it is going to just basically copy my whole WordPress site into a file. So that's downloading. Let's go over to the local site right here. And let's add that all-in-one plugin. I'm going to go to plugins, add new, all-in-one migration, but it'll probably show up there. Cool. Here it is. 2 million installations, almost five stars, 6,000 ratings install. Very simple. Activate it. And we are going to come over. Here it is now. Import. Drag this file that we just downloaded into this. And that's very, very fast. It is now uploading our site and it's done. Click proceed. And in less than 10 seconds, our site has been imported. So we're going to click finish. Now, real quick caveat. We have duplicated our other site. So our username and password have changed to the old site. So it's no longer root and root. All right. So make sure you have the username and password from whatever site you migrate away from. All right. Watch this. If you click finish, anything else you click, it's going to sign you out and make you sign back in using this live username and password right here. Okay, so it's no longer root root. Observe. Let's click appearance. It's going to sign me out. And now we're going to sign back in. I happen to know what this is. So I'm going to put it in right now. And now you can sign back in. Password saved. Looking good. But you'll see it's copied everything. It's copied the Divi theme, my plugins. You still got the uh, migration plugin right here. Everything. So that took all of 30 seconds to get going. And it is an exact duplicate of this site I've got going right here. Here's my site that's being hosted on Cloudways. So that's it. That's how you use Local by Flywheel to really quickly build locally hosted WordPress websites. Now, why is that important? Well, one thing, as I've mentioned in the video, is speed. It's a lot faster to develop locally than it is to develop here, send your code out to some server out there, and then have it sent back. Right? So even if you're only cutting off 20, 25%, if you multiply that by 300, 400 clicks a day editing your website, that's going to add up. That can save you 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour sometimes through like some of those marathon coding sessions and developing your website. Also, if you've got clients and maybe you don't want them to see what you're developing, then you can build locally and that way they don't always have access. So in the past, I've built websites for people and you send them the link, then they can either see what you're doing at all times and they can like email, like let's say you're in the middle of developing a site, they email you and they're like, what the heck, this looks horrible. You have to tell them, well, I'm, I'm building it right now, so that's why. This prevents you from having to go through that. So you can build it, send them a live link, disable the live link, and then they can't see it anymore, so it's really great. Also, if you're using Flywheel for hosting, I'm personally not right now, but if you're using it, then you can build, and it's like a one-click deploy. Go check out their website, and they'll show you how to basically get everything set up in one click, so it's very easy. This is coming from a place where you used to, I remember the first time I set up a locally hosted WordPress website. It took me hours and I had to do all this doc reading to figure out what was going on. This is not like that. Like we saw in the video, it's one click. So check it out. This is a great way to speed up your development environment while not getting bogged down in the weeds of setting up all that database stuff. So hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below if it was helpful. I'm Brandon Styles. See you next time.